वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टुडे आई विल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू करंट डिवाइडर रूल एंड अलोंग विद दिस करंट डिवाइडर रूल आई विल सॉल्व सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स विच विल एक्सप्लेन्स यू हाउ वी कैन एग्जैक्टली अप्लाई करंट डिवाइडर रूल सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ करंट डिवाइडर रूल सो यू सी here we are given with one network and in this network this current i that is getting bisected into r1 and r2 let us say in r1 current is i1 and in r2 current is i2 so as per current divider rule we are deal with to identify what is the value of i1 and i2 and at last i'll explain you generalized formula in which if many resistors are connected in parallel then how much current will get bisected into each of that resistors right so first of all if you see this resistors are connected in parallel so in parallel connection you will be observing that voltage across all the resistors will be same so voltage across r1 will be equals to voltage across r2 that we can say so let us say that voltage is vt right now if you want to calculate what is that voltage vt then simply we can say that this v of t that will be r equivalent into current i where r equivalent will be parallel combination of resistors into current i will be voltage across this two terminal that we can say and here two resistors are there right so i can say that r equivalent will be r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into i that will be our voltage vt which is happening in between this two terminal right now let us try to calculate what is the voltage which is happening across r1 which is vt only right so if i say that is v1 then as per ohm's law i can say that that is i1 r1 right now v1 is vt only so we have already calculated the value of this so that will be r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into current i that is equals to i1 r1 now you see this r1 that will get cancel so you will be having the value of i1 that will be r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into i now similarly if you want to calculate voltage across r2 then voltage across r2 will be i2 r2 now v2 is equals to vt and that is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into i so let us place v2 as r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into i and that is equals to i2 r2 this r2 will get cancel so we will be having value of current i2 that will be r1 divided by r1 plus r2 into total current i right so now we got the value of current i1 and i2 so here for two resistors how current divider rule is there if you have two resistors in parallel then current in resistor 1 that will be another resistance divided by total resistance into total current right and if you want to calculate current passing through resistor 2 then resistance of first resistor divided by total resistance into total current i that is how you can apply current divider rule for two resistors i hope you have understood this right yes sir what if we have three or more resistance connected in parallel can you please make generalized formula for same yes john i am going to explain generalized form even right so that will gives you idea like how we can apply this same rule for so many resistors so let me explain you that step by step so now 
as per John's question, he is saying like how we can apply that to generalized form, right? So let me explain you that. Now you see, we are having this case over here, which is of I1, right? Now if you divide numerator and denominator by R1, R2, then you will be having 1 by R1 in numerator and in denominator, you will be having 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 and that into I. Same thing if, as if you do that with I2, then you see I2 will be, if you divide R1 by R1, R2, then that will make it to 1 by R2 divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 into current I. So that is how we got the value of I1 and I2. Now, if you want that in terms of generalized form, then now you see we are having Rn resistors connected in parallel. So if I say current passing through Rn is In, right? So many resistors are connected in parallel, then generalized form will be In is equals to 1 by Rn divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus up to 1 by Rn into current I, right? So for multiple resistors, you should use this formula, right? Now I think John's question is clear. So if you have multiple resistors in parallel, then how to apply formula? Then formula will be, if I say nth resistor is having current In, then current passing through nth resistor will be 1 by Rn divided by 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus up to 1 by Rn, right, into total current. That is how current divider rule is there. Why I am explaining you this? The reason is many of the times I have seen students are using very complex formula and at the end they are getting trapped somewhere in solving questions. So I think you should use this way to have a sol solving of problem, right. So for that let me give you one very interesting question first. So here we are having one question that was there in UPSC 2014. We are having current source of 8 ampere and we are a little bit to identify I1, I2 and I3 which is passing through 4 ohm, 5 ohm and 1 ohm respectively. So when you want to solve current passing through I1, right, then that will be I1 is equals to, now you see 1 by 4 divided by 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 1 that we need to do into total current 8. Now we need to solve this. So denominator that we have calculated that is 1.45, 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 into 8. So total current I1 that will be, so I1 is 1.379 ampere. Let us solve similarly I2 value. So when you solve I2, then you see 1 by 5 that we need to do, divided by 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 1 into 8. So that will be, now you see 1 by 5 is 0 0.2 and this we have already solved that is 1.45 into 8. So this will be 1.103 ampere. Now let us solve I3 similarly. So I3 is 1 by 1 divided by 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 1 into 8. So 1 divided by 1.45, you see this we have already solved into 8. So this will be 5.517 ampere. So that is how we can have current divider rule, right? Now my dear students, let me give you one practice question, right? And you just write down your answer in comment box. If any query is there, then definitely I'll get back to you. So here I am placing one practice question, you see in this question we have current source of 5 ampere 
and now values of resistance are not given right this is r and this is 2r so how much i1 and i2 is there that is the question so by simply using voltage uh, current divider rule you can solve this right i hope now you have understood this and still if you have any query you just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video